So a customer decides that they don't want to go ahead with an order, or else perhaps you've made a mistake. What do we do? This video shows you everything you need to know about cancelling sales. We're going to look at cancelling a quote or an estimate. We're going to look at cancelling an order before it's shipped. And then we're going to see what to do about cancelling an order after it's shipped. And there's also the question of deposits and prepayments. What do we do about them? Before we go anywhere near cancelling a sale, we need to make sure that there's an appropriate status. And you can see here at the bottom of the list, I've got one called cancelled. You can reach this screen from Setup, Sales and Sales Statuses. Once you've created a cancelled status, you need to go to the Sales Workflow screen and select it as your cancelled status. If you have a draft sale or an estimate or a quote that's not had any payment taken against it, which we can see here, and similarly is not allocated or fulfilled or shipped, then all you need to do is update the sales status to cancelled. And you can either do that from the sales list using the batch actions, or you can drop into the sale, select the cancel status, and then save changes. Here we have a sale that's been fully allocated, which you can see by the green tick. If we cancel this particular sale and save changes, you'll see that all allocations are automatically released. If, however, the sale is fulfilled, which we can see using the green brick here, you can't cancel the sale because there's a shipment that's in the warehouse that's probably about to be shipped, or maybe a dropship purchase order. So what we need to do is we need to go and delete that goods out note before cancelling, or else delete the dropship purchase order. You can delete a goods out note by going sales, goods out notes, due to ship, and then just clicking the delete icon on the right hand side. Deleting the goods out note marks the sale as unfulfilled and then you can cancel it in the normal way. That's fine as long as your goods out note is not yet shipped, but if your goods out note has shipped, which is an irreversible operation, we actually have to create a credit note. Here's that same sales order a little later down the line. It's been fully shipped, fully invoiced, and if I scroll down we can see that it's also been fully paid. We can't cancel this anymore, so let's create a sales credit. You can either do this from the Save Changes button, Clone to Credit Note, or you can select all items on the sale and click Clone to Sales Credit. And what we're going to do here is receive inventory and refund the customer. So first of all, clicking Receive Inventory receives all of the items into stock. And there's a separate video on refunds and exchanges which goes into more detail here. We also need to make a payment back to the customer, so we'll click Do Refund. Choose the bank account from which we're going to pay them, and let's say we're refunding it back onto their credit card. Enter the amount, notice it's a negative payment, and then click Allocate Payment. We can now see that the paid amount on this credit matches the total. And then finally, to balance all the books, we hit Credit. We've now received that shipped inventory back in, we've refunded the customer, and we've completed the sale and the credit. Here's another sale not yet fulfilled or shipped, yet it does have a payment against it. So if I try and cancel this, we get an error because we can't cancel an order if it's got payments against it. So what we need to do is reverse out this payment first. Simply hit Take Payment, put a negative number for the payment you've taken so far, choose the bank account that you're making the refund from, and then allocate the payment. You can now see that there's nothing paid against this sale, so I can update the status to cancelled and save. When you're batch processing a number of sales from the sales list, you can choose to exclude cancel sales. So show the filter, and then from the order status menu, select them all, but untick your cancelled sales. Filter the report, where we can see that all the cancelled sales have been excluded. So we saw how to cancel a quote or an estimate before any fulfilment was created, we simply updated it to cancelled. If a goods out note or dropship was created and not shipped, you just need to delete that goods out note. If the goods out note has been shipped, you actually have to go all the way through and complete the sale and then create a sales credit. And then if orders do have deposits or prepayments and you want to cancel it, you need to reverse out those payments first. That takes us to the end of the video about cancelling sales. It might also be worth having a look at the video about refunds and exchanges.